Like the initial kind of thought was what would be a, a what would be a bold goal, you know. So I wrote down this: how could I become a millionaire, right? Um, I think I wrote down how could I become a millionaire in two weeks. In mid-2005, Alex too was a broke 21-year-old that had no idea if he would ever become successful. Needless to say, I imagine the thought of making a million dollars in the next four months probably didn't cross his mind. This is a bit of business. The Million Dollar Homepage is one of the most iconic stories of somebody using the internet to spur a viral sensation and making a ton of money in the process. The premise of the site was fairly simple. You sell a million pixels for a dollar a piece. The easiest way to think about it is as a digital billboard. Advertisers could buy a chunk of the billboard as large or small as they wanted, place a picture there, and then link to whatever they wanted to promote. The minimum purchase was a 10 by 10 chunk of pixels, which would cost $100 to ensure that the advertiser's picture could be seen. Some people bought chunks of space just to prove that they were rich. Some people wanted to promote their business business, and others wanted to become a part of internet history, which is what the site sold itself as. The idea was so clever yet so simple that everyone who came across it was mad at themselves for not thinking about it first. Everyone besides 21-year-old Alex too. Alex thought of the idea while brainstorming ways to help him pay for his first semester of college, which would cost him around $9,000. He'd been pushing off college for three years, working odd jobs, created a beatboxing forum, hosted beatboxing conventions, and then decided that he was going to go to business school. With a small investment of $50 to purchase the domain, and then two days of work building the website, he did just that. Well, the Million Dollar Homepage was something that I created because I was broke and I was thinking, what would be the perfect money-making scheme? The Million Dollar Homepage launched on August 26, 2005, and Alex did what anybody does when they need some money, they asked their friends and family. Through that, he was able to sell $4,700 worth of pixels, which he took the money from that and hired a PR firm to make a press release for him. And this is when things got crazy. This site was picked up by the BBC and The Guardian who each did an article on it and Alex too sat in his bedroom watching $3,000 worth of pixels sell in a single day. The next three and a half months are seriously something you would see in a movie. The early days of social media, bloggers, and internet forums took it upon themselves to launch the million dollar homepage into internet history. In the next two weeks, Alex made $250,000 and at its peak he made $100,000 in a single day. And by January 1st, 2006, only 1,000 pixels were left up for grabs. But Alex had another clever trick up his sleeve, he decided to hold back the remaining thousand pixels and put them up for auction on eBay, where they sold 11 days later for $38,100. Now I just want to stop for a second to really understand how crazy this is. On August 26, Alex too was a broke kid, and on January 11th, he had $1,037,100 in his bank account. Now the question remains, what made the million dollar homepage work in the way that it did? To start, it was the first of its kind. Alex had created a brand new way of advertising that was so crazy it was able to go viral. A ton of copycat websites launched soon after, but none of them worked out quite the same way. Another reason is the work that Alex himself put in to sustain the attention to the million dollar homepage long enough to sell all million pixels. Using the first bit of money he made to hire a PR agency is arguably one of the most important decisions he made because it started a waterfall effect of media attention. Suddenly everyone was talking about the million dollar homepage and everyone wanted to meet the man behind it, Alex too. He took a trip to the United States to do interviews with major media outlets like ABC and he garnered media attention in over 35 different countries. And the fact that he got all of this attention actually made the site work for the people that were buying the pixels. It got tens of millions of impressions and curious browsers were eagerly clicking through the links behind the pixels that these advertisers were purchasing. Ironically, while the million dollar homepage was created as a way for Alex too to help pay for his college tuition, he decided to unenroll and reassess his career path. Since then, he's taken on many different ventures, his most successful being when he co-founded and now acts as the current CEO of the billion dollar meditation app Calm. The barrier to getting an idea out there is, is really, really low. And there's almost no excuse, if you have an idea, not to try something, you know, um, if, you have, if you can make time for it.